Hello, good day viewers. Today we are going to look on to how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square method. So if you are new here, consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content. Before we go on, I want us to understand what it means by a square. A square is a plane figure that has equal dimensions. All sides are equal in a square. So if this side is x, all other sides will be x. But having a plane figure in this form, the square is not complete. To make this plane figure a complete square, you have to fill this side. And that's what we are going to be looking onto in this quadratic equation. In completing the square method, we only need the first and the second term. Therefore, we are going to take the constant term to the right-hand side. So we have 2x squared plus 8x from the left-hand side. And to the right-hand side, we are going to take negative 10 there. And therefore, it is going to become positive 10. And always ensure that the leading coefficient is 1. But here we have it as 2. So we are going to divide both sides by this 2. So the first term becomes x squared. The second term will become 4x. And the constant will become 5. So now we are ready to complete the square. Now we want to represent each of these terms by a plane figure. The first one is x squared, which is going to be represented with a square of dimension x, x, such that the area of this square is going to be x times x, which is x squared, which corresponds to x squared, plus 4x is going to be represented by a rectangle of dimension 4 and x, such that the area of this plane figure will be x times 4, which is 4x. It also corresponds to this 4x. And to the right-hand side, we have a rectangle that represents 5. And the area of that rectangle is 5 units. Equality sign is telling us what is on the right-hand side is equal to what is on the left-hand side. Hence, we are free to add these two plane figures together. And they will equal to the plane figure to the right-hand side. So what I want to do here I want to divide this plane figure equally such that this side will become 2 and this side will become 2 because I have divided this length of 4 by 2 and each is equal to 2 and all other two dimensions remain x. What I want to do now, I want to take this side and connect it to this side and take the other side to this side. Here is our square. of dimension x and x. Now I want to bring this side to this side. Already they have a corresponding side of x, so I don't have to write the x. This side is now going to be 2, while this remain x. Now I want to connect this side to this side again. This side is 2. And this side remain x because it corresponds to this length of x. If you look at this plane figure, it has a side length of x plus 2 and x plus 2. But this side is not up to x plus 2 because there is a missing side here, which we want to now complete. So to make it complete, to make it complete, we have to add a particular area here that will make this square a complete square. You know that the side length of this side is going to be 2 because it must correspond to this side. And the side length of this will now be 2 because it is going to correspond to this. Hence, we say the total area added is 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. And to the right-hand side, we have our plane figure of 5 units. Equality sign is telling us what is on the right hand side is equal to what is on the left hand side. But from the left hand side, we have added 4 units. To make the equation balance, we have to add 4 units here. So we have 4 units. If you connect the two together, 
we have nine units. So I can clear here and write nine units. A nine unit, since it is an area, I can write three by three, such that three times three is equal to nine. Or I can say negative three, negative three. Negative three times negative three will still give me uh, nine. Now to find the solution for this quadratic equation, what we are going to do, we are going to relate the sides together. This side is x plus two. The total length of this side is x plus two. And we have a total length of this side to be equal to three. So we can equate them together. So we say x plus two equals three. Now to find the value of x, we take two to the right hand side and we say x equal to three minus two and x is equal to one. We have found one of the solution for this quadratic equation. To find the other solution, we can relate other side again. You can see that this side is x, this side is two. If you add them together, you get x plus two, and you can relate it with this negative three. So we can say x plus two is equal to negative three. X, if two crosses over, we have negative three, negative two. X will now be equal to negative five. Hence, we say x is equal to one, or x is equal to negative five. Hence, one and negative five are the root of this quadratic equation. So geometrically, this is how to solve quadratic equation by completing the square method. So let me explain all this mathematically. This is the equation we have, x squared plus four x is equal to five. x squared plus four x is equal to five. To make the left hand side a complete square, this is what we have added, four. And how do we get this four? Four is just half of the coefficient of the middle term, and the middle term is 4x, and the coefficient of the middle term is 4, all squared. This is what we have added here. Because you see, we divided it into 2, which is half, and we get 2, then we square it and we get 4. So half of 4 is 2 squared, and this is equal to 4. So we are going to add four to this side so that we have x squared plus four x plus four is equal to five plus four because we don't have four initially. We added four, therefore we have to add it to the other side in order to make the equation balance. So let us factorize this one. We have our brackets, we have our x's. Think of two numbers which when you multiply them together, you get four. And when added off together, it equals four. The numbers must be two positive and two positive because two times two is four and two plus two is four. And to the other side, we have nine. If you look at these factors, they are the same. So we can say x plus two squared equals nine. To remove this index, we are going to take the square root of both sides of this equation leaving only x plus 2 to the left hand side and to the right hand side we have a square root of 9 but remember in one of my video i explained to you why we always have plus or minus once you introduce a square root to a number that does not have square root initially you have to introduce plus or minus square root of 9 is 3 so we have plus O minus three, and this is X plus two. X is equal to, if two crosses over, it becomes negative two, plus O minus three. So this means that X is either equal to minus two plus three, or X is equal to minus two minus three. Hence, we say X is either equal to one or x is equal to negative five. One and negative five are the root of this quadratic equation. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and do have a nice day.